Hi folks, Dave and Ashy here at Choice Turf in Snohomish. Today we're going to do a little demonstration on how to remove the sod out of your yard when you're trying to replace a new lawn. Behind me here I've laid out about 2,000 square feet which we'll be cutting out today. And over here we'll be using this machine right here. It's a sod cutter that can be rented at uh, just about any rental yard. Um, Home Depot, Lowe's, or your local rental yards. Uh, just be sure you get good instructions on uh, how to operate it before you leave the yard. Okay, the first step I like to do here is to cut out two or three strips on each end and so when we get to the end of the yard we can turn the machine around in dirt instead of on the grass and it gives us a nice clean edge to cut from. So with that we'll get this fired up and we'll start doing some cutting. I've made one cut now here, and as you can see here, it can be kind of hard to see where you've cut. Um, so this is a good time if you have help where uh, as you're cutting, someone else can be moving the rolls out of the way. Um, what we use here is this uh, is a sod knife like this one here. Um, any kind of knife really work. But you can just cut the pieces off and just moving this out of the way as you're getting the machine turned around. And now you have a nice clean edge you can watch as you cut the next piece out. Okay, so now with that roll removed, we're, uh, we're ready to get going and start cutting out the other passes, so we'll do that now. Okay, so now we've cut out three passes on each end. And uh, next step now is just to uh, start rolling it up and moving it out of the way before we cut out the rest of the yard. Okay, so now with this first row removed here, if you end up doing this by yourself, what you can do is just take a steel rake like this, and after you've made one cut, just, just pull each piece over a little bit, so it, it opens up that line there a little. So just little pulls. So what that'll do, it'll open that up um, so you can see that line where you want to cut next time. Um, the reason for that is if you miss spots like this right over here, uh, you leave those strips right there and in the end it takes a, a lot more time to have to go back and cut all those out. Okay, so here we are. We have uh, all the sod cut off and rolled up. Um, we just have the remnants left over, little pieces. If you end up with a lot of stuff left over, um, it probably should be raked up a little bit and hauled off. You don't want those little clumps in there that could come up and be old sod. 